Hello there, this is Stupidly Gaming X for another review on a game. Those of you who have seen my Minecraft review, this is um, going to be my second one. So this game is Kirby's Triple Deluxe for the Nintendo 3DS. My opinion, one of the more underrated games that the system has to offer. So what about this game? Well, for being one of the games in the Kirby series, which is one of the games I had grown up with, well, series that I've grown up with, I had to admit that I had fun playing this game. Now, when you think about it, some of you guys may be thinking, Kirby, that's way too easy. Well, then again, it depends on how long you... I'm trying to get uh, at crud. Meh, I've already gotten that one. Well, basically, there are 100... So as a side quest, there are 100 sunstones that you can collect throughout the game. You can find them in several different levels, as well as the larger ones that you can find in the, um... After you beat the bosses in this game. Such as with Flowery Woods... Woods... Paintra's Paintra, who is the twin sister to Drossia from um, Canvas Curse, Silence. as well as four new copy abilities that you can obtain throughout the game, including which are the Bell, the Archer, the Beetle, and um. Uh, Crap. 
Well, we know those three, and I'll... I'm pretty sure I'll figure out the fourth one later. Anyway, as a side quest, you can collect keychains throughout this game. And the keychains are basically, like, collectible items through... Similar to the, um, um, basically it's like the gotta catch them all, except for it's 256 keychains. Keychains, I'll show you that. And there's also the rare ones that you can find that are one per level. Kind of like the Shock DDD. The Marks from Kirby Superstar, Mark Soul from Superstar Ultra, Dynablade. Cap even Captain Vol has a keychain. And Dark Matter, but we were all expecting that one. You also got the Nightmare Wizard from Nightmare in Dreamland. And even some of the ones that aren't rare ones, like Dark Meta like Dark Meta Knight, several different Kirby's. Master Hand. And heck, you even have four keychains that are hidden throughout the game. Which are Yin Yarn from Epic Yarn. Magalore from Return to Dreamland, as well as Taranza and Sectonia from this from this very game. And I must say they did pretty well making sprites for them. Even though I'm not seeing why f they chose Yin Yarn instead of Prince Fluff, eh? It's probably because of the fact that Epic Yarn wasn't originally going to be a sequel to Kirby. So anyway. My rating for this game, hmm, I would have to say it looks nice. There's a lot more stuff in this game than just the story mode, including an optional Kirby Fighters mini game, DDD Drum Dash, which which actually I had kind of fun, a lot of fun playing, even though it was rather frustrating. You know what? I'm just gonna show a round of that. So basically, you play as King DDD, trying to get through each song. I actually kind of like this song, with what they did with the um, song for Green Greens. Dun, 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 dun. So basically that's that. There are four tracks to this game, including the DDD drum in DDD Drum Dash, which includes Green Greens, King DDD's original theme, Garment Race, and a hidden one that you can get that you can unlock getting all four of them in gold rank, which is entitled Distant Traveler. There's also with the extra mode for called DDD Tour, where you play as King DDD instead of Kirby. So the bosses are in their EX, or in this case, DX forms, possibly standing for Deluxe, and you, instead of facing against Mask DDD and Queen Sectonia, you face against Dark Meta Knight as the final boss to it. So my rating for this, I would have to say, it looks nice, gives it back, it gives you a good feeling to it. I would have to say I give it a 9 out of 10. It's just, a, it's just such a memorable game, and I love it. Thanks for watching, and if you want to, subscribe. If you really liked it, click that like button and leave a comment if you want.